What is up, everybody? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm playing another playthrough of um, The Last of Us, and we're getting to the University of Eastern Colorado. Um, and this is part seven. And again, I will be spoiling stuff and using cheats because I'm focused on the gameplay, like the environment and scenery, okay. and the story. So I oh, will be rounds, not skipping cutscenes. Now, I just think that this is one of my favorite parts of the game, the university itself. Just because there's a lot of detail they put into this. That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports? Hell yeah. And then the sure. detail of these arches, I wonder if they actually surveyed um, the campus before and like actually put in the such detail to actually see what it's all about, you know? How many people do you think are there? Fireflies, I mean. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. I and mean, they just have a bunch of furniture and stuff blocking doors to see what it was like truly about, you know? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. I'll go check it out. Yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. So, this is where the fun begins. Many people don't know this, but there's a flamethrower right here. Usually they would go check out that, si that side and then run over to here. Because there's something special over here, I think. Okay, not pills. Okay, maybe it's not over here. Hmm. Okay, well... Um, I'm confused because I thought it was right here. Ooh, this is good. Move. Check this out. Everyone runs to location and. They all die. It's a perfect uh, trick in like a uh, speed run, or if you're trying to get like all the hardest difficulty, the bottle and the Molotov does it every time. Okay, I'm trying to find this, but I guess it's not out here. Oh well. Let's. Oh, I think I have to turn on the generator there appears. Or maybe I already have it. Yeah, I already have it. My bad. But usually I think it would spawn like somewhere up there. So I'm not gonna do it in the past. Um let's go downstairs. Like look at this detail on this room alone. Get this big plaque. Hey, I was thinking I think the president and like that effect. All the trophies and stuff. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? That would cool. I'm just saying. Should I pick up this now? Fuck, I don't do it while I'm here. What about you? What do you want to be? Uh, well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. I'm so serious. Something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Now this is like a very important moment during this whole scene because it just shows that um, Joel is embracing the the daughter he never had now. Come on. Aww. Are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. They don't look like monkeys. I mean, like, yeah, they move like them, but it looks like a weird texture to them, you know? Now, I, I think this whole area is kind of cool. Um, 
I wish they opened up a little bit more. Kind of awesome. Show you can, you can go like explore the football field over here because this is kind of cool. Get to explore that whole area. Um, even you get to explore this middle section here, like with the statue and everything. That's a really cool building. Imagine building that like a Minecraft. Uh, looks cool. I wonder if they took this exact sign from um, the campus as well. Now, I've never been to the University of Eastern Colorado, and I don't think I'll ever visit, but it does look like a cool, cool campus. Um, and then we get inside the dorms, or at least one one of the dorms, because we have to get on the roof and then cross over into the rooms here. And this bar is really really cool. Pills, shotgun shells, um, materials, some cool stuff you could pick up. Um, Okay, where am I supposed to go? I know there's something important here. Um, I forgot where. It's like, this is... No, you're supposed to be going here. Is it one more? Or is it down? I think it's down. So I'm a little bit confused. I know where I'm going, but I don't know where I'm going at the same time. It's confusing. Um, oh, I think that, that's just for supplies. Okay. Going back. We take the horse yeah. and go around. Hey, look. Fireflies. Joel, See? Firefly symbol. Fire. Very important in this game in part two. Really cool that they uh, showed that. Uh, whoops. Missed that checkpoint. It's right in the middle, not on the sides. Alright, let's try that gate. I'll stay with Callus. I hate Watch that yourself. name. There it is. Now, this is like, um, for many people, this is one of the harder parts. In the game, because there's a lot of enemies when you get up to these dorms. Let me show you what I mean. But it's really, really cool that you get to this explore these dorms. See, like, uh, what the students left behind. Um, like, a lot of them had, like, PCs and uh, posters everywhere. True dorm life. Um... Typical bathroom. That's a big toilet. Um, yeah, posters, a laptop for their work, CDs. Again, this was back in 2013, so people were still kind of using CDs. They could, um, in music nowadays, it's useless, but. Telescope, it's so cool that they like added as much detail into the dorms. This is just really, really cool. Now we're gonna not gonna share everything, but it's just I'm just gonna do a quick scan of all this. Damn it, spores. Now we get into a hard section. I think that's the big guy over there. A section. It's gonna be interesting. Let's do this. Oh. Yeah, even down here, it's kind of cool to see all, all the dorms infected and everything. It's a very change of atmosphere. 
Like, look at that. Someone was probably infected in this corner for many months or years. Right here, too. See how much I was disinfected from their, their dorm life. Probably hidden or living here, especially this big guy right here. I picked up the firefly pleasant. Oh well. I'll pick it up later. But yeah, you just see like the amount of detail. Like, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, usually people would be like, they would see the big guy coming. And like, open, 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 open. Come on, Joel, open! And then it almost touch them, and then they finally get away. But yeah, I like how they added so much detail into the dorm life. It's just one of my favorite parts. Now, I know, I'm kind of speedrunning all this, but it, it's still kind of cool to, to see all this. Um... More infected, I'm fine. Here, come up on the gate. I always hate this because you have to get like in a perfect angle. There we go. I was struggling so hard because I thought I had to pick up the L cable before and then attach it, but he does it automatically. Let's try the gate. I really actually like this gate. It's cool that it swings open kind of like a garage door rather than like sideways. Fireflies? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. Why would they have an infected so close to the lab? Come on. Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah. Giant mirror. Come on. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Come on. But yeah, they added these like triage units, supplies, and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go loot it that much, but I want to see what's over here. I think these are parts. Yep. Again, I'm doing enough to just top my head since I played this so many times. What I think I might do after this is um, do like a, a God of War commentary series. Um, not based on Ragnarok, but the 2018 version because I loved it so much. And like do that. So I might, might do that. Now, we have to open the gate using this. My first playthrough, I, was, I took forever and I had to look it up. I was like, what the heck do I do? Because I thought I had to like go around the corner, jump up there, um, try to move this car, trying to up to open a thousand times to the gate over there. I tried like a million weeds trying to find what to do. And I was like, oh, you just take this garbage can and you ram it through the gate like that. Like how these they have like leaves on the roofs to show just how much time has passed, like and these sill panels are just like damaged. It's kinda cool. Then we finally get to the um campus. Alright, we're inside. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. There you go. Thanks. Let's look around. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. I think there's an upgrade table, right? 
Let me collect parts first. Um, this parts. Yep. Hello? Where are they? Right here. Let's do this. Anything? We'll see. Um, 147. So range. We'll see. Range. Okay, we got range. Reload speed. I don't know. Uh, did we upgrade all the pistols? No. So, what I'm going to do... Let me see. What can we upgrade here? Reload speed. We'll do that. Now, the, in part one, they added uh, I, the whole idea that you could just uh, see what you're working on. Fire rate. I'll do that as well. Since this is like my main weapon I use, it's fast. And again, with one one bullet kills, it's pretty much pretty easy just to kill people. Now, as a gun guy, I'm pretty sure like none of this would actually be like real life. Um, let's see. Um, shotgun. I think I'll use that. Reload speed or recoil. Let's do a reload speed. <laughs> he just takes a... Oh, that's kind of funny. Um, okay, that'll be my house upgrade. Nothing left. Okay. I'm doing nicely. Okay, and then I think they did a good job detailing everything here in the college, like um, grab one leftover paper, backpacks, use this place kind of survival. You can kind of see from the fans, the meat, the lanterns, and everything. They did a good job here. Now let's make our way towards the back. I think this is. Oh, uh, this is a room for supplies. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Got pills. Anything with pills? Um. Hmm. I'll I'll save that for later. Okay. Let's make our way. Um. Question is where? I thought it was this way, but it must be a dead end. The light will illuminate the way. Okay, so we go this way. No. This way. What the heck? Oh, right. You have to open up the other room. Go around. <laughs> I forgot. Yoohoo! Fireflies. Here for mankind over here. Anyone? Let's keep it down until we figure. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Not much to say here. Open up the door. Okay, fine. You open it. I figure out she opens up. There are no bodies. That's good, right? We find out where they went. Shit. Um, so it's probably clickers, right? No, well, clickers don't hide. Like those monkeys look so bad. Oh, clickers. Like they spent no time at all creating this. So bad. Well, maybe in all that research, they turned into fucking monkeys. Let's keep searching. We'll find something. question is 
Because what do we do with all you guys? They say the tainted batch needs to be put down. You know what I say? I say screw that. Who made a bigger sacrifice than you, right? Anyone deserves to run free out there. Say, hey, easy. Stop. So, we didn't mess with them monkeys. Yeah, it looks like the monkeys are infected, but um, the doctor got bit, and we'll see more about what he has in here. City. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. Well, time to fight. The fuck are these guys? But yeah, basically, Man, we know where to go. Let's get the hell out of here. We know who we're fighting, and we have to go. What? The No. I'll turn around. Come on. There's everyone. Now we get to the interesting part. Stairs, right? Which I thought it was this way. Yeah. Now, this is like one of the most iconic moments in gaming coming up. someone's like abdomen oh now yeah that, that's like true pain the first time a couple times i played this i didn't realize how bad it was but i was like oh my gosh it's kind of crazy well, what do you want me to do This shows the intense pain right there, you can tell. Let's get to the damn horse. Now, of course, with the new uh, clothing, it doesn't really show the blood that often. But in the original, you can see, like, there's a lot of blood coming out. Go. Joel? How are we doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Can you handle the window? Yeah. Jesus. Come on, move! Shit. I see. Oh, 
see you. <laughs> but they did detail all the sweat and everything. You can see on his arms in his new version. They didn't really have that in the original. Those were my friends who killed him. Come on out. We'll do the thing. <laughs> Yeah, he's really struggling. This whole moment, you could tell the music is getting really heavy. Uh, it's, okay, because on your first playthrough, you're like, is this man gonna die? Is, this, is it, it for Joel? Is Ellie gonna carry on the rest of the way without us? There's no one here. How much pain is Joel actually experiencing right now, you know? Yes. Then fucking walk. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> There's the exit. <sighs> Just a little bit more. Come on. What's funny is I killed one of them, and yet both still remain. You little shit. Joel, here, stand up. Put your armor on me. All right, let's go. I swear to God, I get you out of this. You're so singing for me. <laughs> you wish. <coughs> yeah, he's basically done. Wait here. I'll get the door. Take your time. <clears throat> Come on. There you go. <laughs> Get on. Come on. I think we're safe. Basically, this is a shift where Ellie becomes like a true menace. Instead of being like a scared little girl, she uh, faces her true fate. So, I'm going to leave it here. And this is going to be the end of this part. But, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And we'll get into winter into the next part. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So, with lots of love and respect, you guys, I will see you guys later. Peace out, and hopefully I'll see you in my next part. And I'll see you next time. Bye.